7 Creative Ways to Heat Your Pool This Winter Hello friends, today we will find the 7 creative ways to heat your pool this winter. With a little ingenuity, you can warm a cold swimming pool without having to spend thousands of dollars on an expensive pool heater. Don't settle for an ice cold pool. Water temperatures in the 70s can leave you shivering and searching for the warmth of a towel. Although preferences vary from person to person, pool temperatures in the 80s strike a happy medium, warm enough to be enjoyable for most children and adults. But getting pool water to 80 degrees Fahrenheit can be a difficult task, electric or gas pool heaters are one common way of warming up the water in a pool, but they have high price tags and are expensive to operate. If you're willing to get a little creative, there are plenty of more affordable ways to bring that icy pool water to a comfortable temp. Spread a solar cover. Pool water loses heat through evaporation. As the sun heats the pool water, that warm water rises to the top, where it evaporates. A solar cover creates a barrier that prevents heated water from escaping the pool. Solar covers also have small air pockets, similar in look and feel to bubble wrap that capture heat from the sun and transfer it to the water. By blocking evaporation and transferring heat, a solar cover can raise a pool's water temperature by as much as 12 degrees. Float Solar Rings Solar rings function similarly to a solar cover but are easier to use. Each ring is typically 5 feet in diameter. When several are grouped together in the pool, they act as a solar cover preventing heated water from leaving the pool while absorbing heat from the sun and transferring it to the water. Solar rings are easier to place and remove than a full-size cover, but they aren't as efficient at heating the water. They will maintain the temperature. Lay Solar Mats A solar mat consists of a flat black vinyl mat with a series of tubes inside of it that hold water. The mat lies flat on a roof or other surface, where it can absorb heat from the sun. The pump pulls water from the pool and pushes it through the tubes inside the mat, warming the water before recirculating it back into the pool. Float some black trash bags. Because dark colored objects absorb heat from the sun, placing black material with a lot of surface area on your pool will help heat the water. One way of putting this concept into practice is to float large black trash bags, yes, trash bags, in your pool. The bags will absorb heat and transfer it to the pool water, warming it up, while also serving as a barrier that prevents warm water at the surface of the pool from evaporating. For best results, use thick, 3 mm, contractor grade bags, like these bags from Hefty. Pour liquid solar cover. Like a standard solar cover, a liquid solar cover stops heat loss. But instead of relying on the material, the barrier is formed by a thin layer of alcohol. Alcohol is less dense than water, so it creates a film on the pool's surface that prevents the water from evaporating. Although not as effective as a solid cover, a liquid solar cover can reduce the evaporation of heated water from a pool by as much as 85%. Build or buy a windscreen. Wind blowing across the surface of a pool can accelerate the evaporation process, causing the pool water to lose heat more quickly. If you live in a windy area, consider building or purchasing a windscreen to protect your pool from wind, allowing it to better retain heat. Blocking the wind will also make pool occupants feel warmer. Invest in a solar pool heater. In a solar pool heating system, Water is pumped from the pool to solar cells mounted on the roof of the home. The cells then warm the water before it flows back to the pool. According to experts, a solar pool heater costs $3,000 to $4,000 to purchase and install, but unlike conventional gas and electric pool heaters, it costs nothing to operate. For best results, use solar cells in tandem with a solar cover. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. For getting more useful and interesting information, subscribe to Engineer AJ Lott's channel How to Make My House.